two more laps to go. Oh, I heard that. Come on now, you gotta take care of that body the good Lord gave you. What about that whole maid in God's image thing? I don't know if I wanna be messing with perfection. <laughs> nice try. Come on now, keep up. I mean, seriously, I wish you were this determined at fighting a man. I get worried about you sometimes. Oh, here we go. No, it's like you stuck on stupid or something. Ever since. Please don't say it, okay? First step in recovery is just admitting that you have a problem. And where'd you hear that, Dr. Phil? No, America's Next Top Model. Oh, yeah, goodness. Yeah, so go ahead on, say it. Dwayne. Yes, great. Dwayne was fine, I thought you two were set. Well, how am I supposed to compete with his new girlfriend? She makes her living dancing with a pole. Well, that fool did you a favor then when he just disappeared last year. Uh, more like 16 months, 19 days, and a little change. Oh, uh, you, girl, you are so whooped, but you need to move on mm -mm. and get over it. I'm done with men, okay? I'm not. I know, and what about you? Dating all the time and no closer to finding Mr. Right. Let me tell you something, Simone. Men are like cars. Mm. You gotta take them out on a test drive before you sign that paperwork. Oh, I haven't seen you dot no eyes across no T's lately. But all of that's changing tonight. Oh, yeah? Got a date. He's fine with potential. Oh, does he go to church? No doubt. Okay. And he takes care of his elderly uncle. Mm. Okay, well, I can't wait to hear about that. Uh, I'm on in camp. Come on, honey, hustle, hustle. The bride's an hour behind us. Besides, there'll be no wedding poses without roses. <laughs> okay, no disrespect to you or your work, Monique, but I think the weddings will go with or without us. No doubt. But their chances of happily ever after are greatly enhanced with the proper floral accompaniment. Okay, and what does that mean? It's scientific. Besides, I don't want a divorce on my conscience. Okay, can you keep it down because they're not even married yet, okay? I have a feeling this couple is gonna be just fine. And how do you know that? Their check cleared the bank. Hey, well, you know, the kitchen's back there okay. through the uh, social hall. Mm -hmm. You know, God bless us with a very successful financial campaign and now we can do weddings and receptions and things we normally lost to other function halls. Right. So where are you from, son? Back east, Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Yeah. I tell you, man, back in my old days, I used to back up like the barcades. I would spin around like the OJs. Dropped it like I was hot, like I was Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Got you some game, huh, Pastor Hayden? That was back in the old days. Oh. So what brings you to L.A.? Well, you know, my uncle. You know, I came to spend some time with him, and he's pushing 80, and, um, um, Okay, look, uh, you look around. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, Pastor, look, I'll see you on Sunday. God bless. Okay, God bless you too. Well, what's up with you? Nothing. I'm good. Would you like to lie down? Uh, a pillow? Perhaps a cool drink? <laughs> no, stop, I'm fine. Hmm. Thank you. No problem. What a gentleman. Wow. Calvin dinner was the bomb. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that pizza was off the chain. Yeah. So, moving across country, new job. What's the mentality? Just like anything else, you know, it just takes faith. I heard that. Have this wonderful coffee upstairs. You want to come in? Coffee makes me jittery. Besides, I got I to gotta get up early in the morning. How about a rain check? Rain check? Yeah. Okay. Come on. All right. I'll give you a call. You should. Jesus, make it rain.
Good morning, Harry. Hey, Flower Power. What can I get you? One large cappuccino, one large coffee, four creams, and six sugars. Monique likes it large and sweet, huh? <laughs> okay, Harry, I would hook you up, but you know Monique is married. She's not the one I'm interested in. But grab a seat. I'll bring you a new pot. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Am I anywhere near Western Avenue? Um, yeah. Sort of, yeah. If you go up uh, about three blocks three and then blocks. make your first left. First right. First left. You got it. No, I don't. Okay, let me see your pan. I'll help you out. Okay. Thanks. It's always good to have a backup. That's true. Hey, you know what? I bet guys tell you this all the time, but I swear I think we've met somewhere before. Yeah? yeah. Just like you know where Western Avenue is. <laughs> a pretty face I remember. Now directions, that's another thing. Oh, I see you've chosen the proper career choice for yourself. A delivery guy. <laughs> Look, once I get the route down, it runs pretty smooth. Um, I'm still working on that part. Besides, I just moved here. Oh, well, welcome. Calvin Walker. Simone Sinclair. It's nice to meet you. Me too. Wait, maybe you've seen me in Monique's um, Uniques. Have you ever been there? Uh, yeah, that's that, that, that lingerie spot down on uh, Crenshaw, right? Do not make me lay hands on you. <laughs> no, it's a flower shop. Oh, fl flower. Yeah, you should come by sometime. You know, maybe get something for your girlfriend or your wife. Monique does beautiful work. Yeah, I don't have a girlfriend or oh. a wife. How about I just come and see you? That could work. Okay. Well, I better get going. Okay. Well, it's nice to meet you. You too. Simone Sinclair. A beautiful name to match a beautiful face. Oh, oh I'm good. I'm good. Bye. Bye. There you go, gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Hold on, I'll be right back. You're. you at the church last week I was setting up flowers for a wedding oh, that's right yeah the girl with the, the, the hair yeah when you the hat I didn't recognize yeah, you wow me. hi hi <laughs> well that's good I mean we old friends you know something like that yeah um you busy tonight no um you think we can hang out or Sure, yeah, I like that, yeah. All right, Monique's exquisites, right? Right. I'll get, I'll get in touch with you. All right. All right, thank you. Jesus is knocking on the door of your heart today. Of Jesus oh, is Lord, the Lord stand at the door and knock. Got your food, Faye. Oh, thank you, thank you. No problem. Oh. What is this? I was wondering where that wandered off to. <laughs> oh, girl, this don't make no sense. Mmm. The fire trap in here. Mmm. Where can you learn how to cook like this? Oh, well, that's one of the benefits of being a bachelor. Yeah. You get tired of takeout, see? Mm hmm Well, you know, you're going to make somebody a real nice wife someday. <laughs> but you're looking good, Tess, huh? Keep it up, old man. Mm -hmm. Let me make you eat that old moldy sandwich. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know this ain't easy for a young man. You know, watching out for an old geezer like me. Come on, girl. You know I like this. It's no problem. I just want to let you know how much I appreciate it. You know, if it wasn't for you, I could be stuck away in some old smelly nursing home and everybody forget all about your old Uncle Earl. You my uncle. I love you. I don't have to worry about that. I'm not gonna let that happen. Well, I really appreciate it, son. No problem. But you can keep that spaghetti coming, you know. You got it. Come on right okay. up. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. 
You like it? Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen a good movie, so. Me too. You're right, but you have someone different every night. No. Besides, I'm more of a quality type of guy than quantity. Oh. What about you? I know you got somebody special in your life. I was dating this guy. It was kind of serious, but uh, we split up. When? About 16 months, 19. I mean, it's been a while. I'm one of those. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of practice. You got game to me, girl. <laughs> Shoot. Come on in, girl. <laughs> Somebody's in a good mood. Oh, uh, well, I took your advice. I met a man at the coffee shop, and I only mentioned Dwayne's name about seven times. Really? Well, that's better. <laughs> yeah. So, wait. Tell me about Mr. Fine with Potential. Oh, girl. He's not just fine. He's fine. Okay. Can somebody out here please get this woman a bib? <laughs> but you know how hard it is to find a good man, though. Yeah, especially when they've been looking as long as you have. Oh, okay. I've been looking. I know. <laughs> So finish telling me about your day. Okay, so not only is he fine, but Calvin's really grounded. He might be the one. Wait, did you say Calvin? Yeah, why? Okay, how crazy is that that my guy name is Calvin too? Yeah, um, he's a delivery guy. Wait, and, uh, from back east? Uh-huh. Philadelphia? No, yes. Is his last name? Walker. Calvin Walker? Hell no. Wait, what are the odds in that happen? Yeah, what are the odds? But it doesn't matter anyway, because you're not going to keep seeing him, right? Okay, wait, you're the one telling me, go out, meet new people. Calvin ain't new. He's taken. By me. We have a date on Sunday. Oh, that's really good. So, since you're keeping up with the score, I've already had one date, two accidental meetings, and one plan for next week. Okay. I love you, girl, but I will cut you. <laughs> Look, okay, seriously, you tell me to go out and meet new guys, I finally meet a good man, church going, hard working, and you telling me to step off? That ain't really gonna happen. All right, look, you meet more men when you walk to the bus stop than I meet all year. So? I mean, I don't mean to be mean or rude or anything, because we like sisters, we go way back, but um, I think he's just a little bit out of your league. What did you say? You heard me. You don't have what it takes to catch a man like this. So you think that that little bit of junk in the trunk is gonna go far with him? Well, oh, I and those conversation skills, oh uh -uh. not that good. <laughs> Simone, who cares? And you think he gonna pick your little corny self over? <laughs> okay, wait, let's this? stop, let's stop, let's stop, okay. Over a man? Let's not do this. No, Simone. Calvin's not just a man. I know that. That's why I don't want to say something or do something we'll regret. Simone, we're way past that when you brought my ass into the equation. Remember that? Okay, Angela, this is stupid, okay? That's right. Do what you do best. Run. Run away. Go hide in your little corny flower shop. It's probably best. I'm still going to see Calvin. Uh, so am I. No, you are not. Yes, I am. Well, let's bet on it. I don't bet on men. I win. No. So then we'll see who Calvin commits to wins. Okay. And the loser acknowledges their defeat publicly. Get ready to work on your speech. Crusty hands. Fake fingernails. working the day or just destroying my inventory? I'm gonna take the 15 cents out of my paycheck. It's a man, ain't it? No. Simone, I've known you for four years, watch you handle cranky clients, crooked distributors, and console nervous brides, and you never break a sweat. Now, the only time I've ever seen you like this was when Dwayne... Don't say it. What was when he played you like Boo Boo the Fool? But. I did something really stupid, Monique. Really stupid. Honey, we've all been there. 
Late nights, drinks flowing, muscles bulging, music playing. No, no, I let Angela talk me into something. Go on. It involves the new man, Calvin. You and Angela and Calvin. Yeah, I know, that's why I hate I agreed to it. You... Agree, agree to the bet. Oh, Lord, girl, you had me speaking in tongues. I'm, I thought you were about to, well. No, see, okay, Angela and I found out that we we're both dating Calvin, mm -hmm. and neither one of us wants to let go, so I agreed to the bet with Angela of who could win him. Y'all bet on a man. Well, uh, you really like this guy. I mean, I would hate to let him go without seeing if we had something or not. Then dig in for the fight of your life. Now, he's saved, right? Of course. Okay, so let's assume that he's looking for a woman with a strong spiritual foundation. I believe so. But Angela's beautiful. Simone, honey, besides having the biggest heart and the prettiest face, you have unshakable faith. You show him your righteousness and he'll be tripping all over himself to be with you. You really think so? Girlfriend, sometimes you gotta fight the good fight. Because if you don't, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Now, Angela doesn't seem to be a pushover. You do this, be prepared to go the distance. these love floaties. Well, how much are they to rent? Well, usually they're like 15 bucks an hour. I'll give it to you for five. You gotta book up at least 24 hours in advance. All right. Check it. You pay the cat, you pick the boat, and you start paddling. Hey, are, are these for tomorrow? Yeah. Um, thanks. Sure. She's adorable. She is. <laughs> yeah, there's some real cute under this mess. Here you go, sweetie. Thanks. You must have kids. Someday, you know, God willing. It's the most terrifying thing you can do, but also the most rewarding, so. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. When the world gives you lemons, make lemonade. don't do water. What are you talking about? Blockness, creepy stuff. Mm -mm, I'm good. It's a man-made lake, Angela. Well, then they probably dump bodies in here. Y'all, last week, they found a foot. This okay? much better. No sharks, no creepy things, nothing squiggly. This is beautiful. You're right, it is. You happy? Yes, having a wonderful time. Me too. <laughs> so, tell me how a fine, hardworking man like yourself ain't married. What makes you think I'm not? So why would you bring me out here wait, to tell wait, me that? Wait, wait, hold on, okay, hold on, it's a bad joke. I'm just playing. The simple answer is I haven't met the right woman yet. Okay, finding the right woman who shares my commitment to faith and family, it ain't easy, but it's everything, you know? You got that right. <laughs> What's your story? Every time I think I've found a righteous man, he turns out to be a wolf in sheep's clothing. 
<laughs> a wolf. Ain't no fangs here. I see that. I'm gonna show you something. Okay, I won't peek. <laughs> okay, you can look. Some bread, some wine. Oh my God. And most importantly, grapes. It's like we in France. <laughs> we we. <laughs> yeah, I like the wine. You like the wine? Here you go. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Have fun, okay? All right, come and see me again. Oh, let's get some. Sure, some lemonade. Simone? Calvin? What are you doing here? Oh, um, this is my friend Angela. Angela Simone. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. Oh, sorry, my hands are a little cold. We're making cold drinks all day. So, you branching out of the flower business or what? Oh, no, no. I'm just, you know, trying to do my part, you know, and, and give back to the community. Just trying to raise a little money for the children's literacy organization, wow. you know, for textbooks and after school programs, anything to help the kids. I love the kids, you know. Oh, I'm impressed. Very righteous undertaking, Simone. Well, I try just to help out. Do what I can. We're going to take two. Oh, great. Yeah. You know, every little bit helps. Children, you know, they're the future, you know. Thanks, baby. <laughs> there you go. Don't worry about it. It's for the kids. Thank you. That's very generous of you. Well, yeah, well, uh, bye. You write shit, friend. We deliver the meals, we don't eat the meals. Mr. Daniels has been missing his puddings for the past six weeks. Come to find out, it's little Jimmy here snacking on the side of the road. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Room number two, know your routes, people. Gas is four or five dollars a gallon. Boy, take your head off in the house of the Lord. We can't afford to be reimbursing you all for gas, so if you get lost, you're on your own. Am I clear? Yes. Rule number three. Prepare for emergencies, people. Traffic jams, road closures. I don't want to hear about it. These people got to eat. Do you all get my meaning? Yeah. What are the rules? Uh, make sure you get a good price on that. Optical illusion. I don't know. I can move my fish and cheese. Good. Get out of my fish. Okay. Time to know Right. Ooh, right here. Did I give you permission to touch my food, boy? No, sir. Ma'am. I wear the golden apron at this church. There's a reason for that. Don't touch my food until I release it to your custody. You got it? I got it. Knock it. Gotta go. Sweet. Oh, I don't know where he is. Maybe on a tarmac someplace. I don't know. Okay, bye. Oh, these people. We need textbooks for tutoring and all that and her. Hello, may I please speak with uh, Simone Sinclair? Uh, she's not here at 3516. Oh, when do you expect her in? She's out on deliveries. Uh, uh, MasterCard, Visa, no MX. Um, my name is Patricia uh, Wellington. I'm calling from the Children's Literacy Council. I was calling to thank her for such a generous contribution. Uh, you have a number where she can call you? No bother. I'll give her a call back maybe five or six. Oh, uh, no, no, that won't work. She's going out. Oh, that's right, that church event. Um, no, 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 um, it's, it's the Willow. The Willows? I've been trying to get a... <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Who did you say was calling again? Oh, m my name is uh, Patricia Wellington. Well, thank you. She wanted too much information. I'm sorry. This is a loving memory of uh, Frankie Mae Culpepper. 
the willows. Hmm. Who's Patricia Wellington? Your date for tonight. I'll let you know when you can pick me up. Sweet. Kick rocks. Scoot. I'll see you tonight, baby. Not your baby. Go ahead. <sighs> yes, Willow's Restaurant. Calling to confirm my reservation tonight. Calvin Walker. Yeah. What time is it again? Seven. That's right. Thank you. Yes, I'll see you tonight. I was searching for someone to satisfy my heart and give me all the love I need. That's what I thought I needed. I didn't want to wait and see what you had in store planned for me. And so I tried to do it my way. I lose sight from being when I think I'm right from being And I lose out from being on the righteous side. You're still good when I'm being on the righteous side. Oh, on the righteous side. Sometimes I Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy everything. Thank you. You know, I have always wanted to come here. I'm glad we can make it happen. You know, you look great tonight. Thank you. Well, here's to you for saving me from a night full of infomercials and bad game shows with <laughs> Uncle Earl. <laughs> mm. Now, I'm sure that you don't have a problem filling this time slot. Well, you know, finding somebody to go out with is easy. Finding the right woman, that requires a little help from above. Ryan, are you ready? It's Ryan. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so you're choking. Look, like this. <laughs> I got it. Don't play. I got it. Well, you know, I think it's great what you do. A lot of guys wouldn't even consider taking care of their elders. Well, Uncle Earl's like my pops, really. That's the least I can do. Besides, you can learn a lot from old people. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, you know, they show us where we came from, let us appreciate who we are. That's why I volunteer down at the church. I just love listening to those Old stories. <laughs> that is so sweet. Well, I get more out of it than they do, really. What? I get it? Close. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh my god! I'm joking. I'm joking. Try and relax, sir. I'm a doctor. Relax, relax. Oh, oh. Damn, oh. I said. Angela? What? Oh, I got oh. you. You'll be fine. Mr. I've never met before. Angela, Angela are you okay? Everything fine? Yes, I am trained for the situation. Here we go. And bam! She actually saved him. He was choking on a peanut? Yes. <laughs> that was amazing. You are amazing. Yeah, oh. true Mother Teresa. Should I call the ambulance for you? Oh, fun. Uh, no, I better take him home. Buddy. Got it. Okay, show's over. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Did you see? She's, she did the whole. That's great, right? Yeah. That's how you do it. Top that. That was awesome. So, what's next? Grab a little dinner, catch a movie. Mm -mm. I'll see you Monday. But I almost choked to death in there for you. We shared a moment. Let me get your hand off me. Let me tell you something. We did, and now it's over. Bees! It's Ryan! Who cares? And you drove me here! Get the bus! Gone! Well, thank you for a wonderful night. Great food. Even better company. Yeah, and a little live theater thrown in. <laughs> Telling me. Hope old boy's all right, though. Why wouldn't he be? Oh, I'm sorry, that came out wrong. I mean, I'm sure he's fine. You know, I'm sure God is watching over him right now. Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. You know, I should be going in. Monique is off tomorrow, and I have to open up, so. 
Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> I gotta get going. Uh, a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I guess that's a good night. Yes, it was. Madame, may I present to you your lunch? Mm, thank you. Thank you. Why don't you come on in? What? Have something to drink. <laughs> okay. Well, well, uh, come on, LL. <laughs> I gotta go. Jesus is on the main. <laughs> Tell you what life. you want. Come on back here, boys. Jesus is on the main. Line. Tell you what you you know, I gotta be honest. I, I wanted to make sure you knew that I was seeing someone else. I mean, I understand that. And I appreciate you telling me. Yeah. I called the other girl earlier today. And I told her the same thing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How'd she take it? She was jealous as I don't know what. <laughs> and then my mom called and she interrupted our conversation. So, is she okay? Oh yeah, she's fine. She uh, she said she had a dream about me becoming a youth pastor. Is that something that you would consider or um, thought about? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. It just, you know, that's moms. You know, they got this, this they, they seem to always know stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? I think that would be great. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Tell yourself, Mel. Gosh, I would. Brother Cal. It's mighty fine work you're doing, son. Mighty fine work. Thank you, Pastor. I love delivering to them all later. And make it do what it do, Cal. <laughs> make it do what it do, son. Right. Right here. There you go, huh? Oh, oh, thank you, son. All right, all right. You know, I was just sitting here thinking, what's up? You ain't been in town two months and you already got yourself two fine young fillets. Boy, Cal, I'm telling you, you definitely are my blood. <laughs> you know, I used to run them pretty good in my day, too, till my equipment got to run out on me. Be all right, huh? But you know, the yeah. thing is, it's, it's, I'm having a hard time with it. You know, I'm a little uncomfortable dating two women at the same time. Yeah. But you know, Cal, you go on and have your fun. But you best be careful. Despite what them sexy late night TV shows tell you, two women's and one man ain't exactly how God intended things to be, you know. Come on, Uncle Earl. It's not like that. Well, I think what you need is a little spiritual guidance. You know, figure things out before you get yourself in a mess of trouble, boy. You know, it's nasty out there. You're right, I will. Mm hmm I will. <laughs> when we start getting them channels anyway, huh? Well, what do you mean just not getting them? I've been at them. <laughs> it must be blocked out in your room. Yeah, I don't have them in my room. I don't, I don't you, know where you get You don't stuff need from. them. You got real women to chase after. <laughs> I got to look at the animated ones. 
Tastes good too, boy. Yeah, he's a good look. Well, he told me he has thoughts about becoming a youth pastor. Mm-hmm. Don't you think that's a pretty commendable thing? Girl, hold on. I'm putting on my mascara, okay? You? Oh, my God. He is so out of your league. I doubt that. You haven't even been to church in months. So now is the perfect time to make a comeback. You know what? I'm, I'm hanging up. See you tomorrow. Enjoy the service? Oh, I really enjoyed the service. Right. Nice service. Yeah, I enjoyed all the pretty women. Too. I heard that. Come on, Calvin. Come on, hold on. Angela, can I talk to you for a minute? God can see you without you having to put on a light show. Hey, uh, I'm going to pull up the car, okay, huh? Oh, okay, but okay. don't take all day. No, no, I'll be, I'll be there in a second. Hey. Hey, hey gorgeous. Hey. Good, how are you? Um, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, okay. of course. Yeah. I think it's only fair that when I tell you about the woman you've been seeing me with, her name is Angela. Right, the one from the restaurant in the boathouse. I kind of figured something was going on. Yeah. Well, the right thing to do is to tell you about her and to tell her about you. Okay. Well, I mean, she's great. She's a terrific lady. You know, she's full of faith and, and spirit. I see. Well, I hope you two are happy together. I'm bad at this. Okay, what I'm trying to say is I've developed strong feelings for you, Simone. And I want to build on those feelings. I want to get to know you better. Everything. That is if if you feel the same. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, yeah, I got a man up. 
tell Angela about you, um, about us. Yeah, I don't want her to think, you know, I'm playing. No, I mean, you're an amazing man, Calvin. You know, the only way I knew Dwayne was breaking up with me is when he disconnected his phone number. But, um, Angela, I mean, she's going to be sad, but she'll get over it. Yeah, she'll get over it. <laughs> So what was all that about? Okay, listen, let's end this whole bet thing, okay? Look what it's doing to us. We nearly blinded half the congregation in there today. I'm so glad you're quitting. Me and Calvin have a connection. I can't wait to see him tomorrow. I'm not quitting. What'd you say? Look, you may have a connection, but I have commitment. You're crazy, how do you know that? Look, he told me, he wants me exclusively. All right, that's why he's meeting you tomorrow, to let you know he's chosen me. Nice try, Simone. You're acting. It's improving. It's incredible. I know what me and Calvin got. Right. Yeah, friendship. I have his heart. You're lying. Angela, look. If Calvin's going to be in my life, we have to figure out how all three of us can get along together. Wow. You have really just gone off the deep end. Please. I don't see no ring on your finger, and I don't back down that easily. Please look, I'm, I'm telling you this for your own good. You're right. Girl, whatever. We supposed to have some recreation. Mm -hmm. Ain't supposed to just sit around all day drooling like hey, girl. Yeah. Hey, hit me. What's going on? How's the game going on? Oh, it's going pretty good. All right. It looks that way. Yeah. <laughs> Earl, you know it's a shame that boy of yours date two girls at the same time. Mm. Well, you know what they say. <laughs> the apple don't fall that far from the tree. <laughs> I tell you what, I'd like to get me a piece of that boy. <laughs> I'll sneak up on him like Snoop Dogg at dog at the smoking section. Beatrice, watch your mouth. It's Beatrice. It's been Beatrice since you left Mississippi. Whatever. Just want to spend a little time with him. Just a little time. You wouldn't know what to do with that boy if he's still right in front of you. Oh, I know what to do with him more than you would sitting up here looking like Pharaoh. Foul shit. Ladies, ladies. Louise, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Hell, Calvin won't want nothing to do with that old dried up old prune. He got two ripe juicy grapes. He just pulled off the vine at his disposal. Prune? Uh, well, what about you, you club foot? But what about your wrinkles? Uh, I got cream for this cream. Mm. You got any mirrors at your house? You got any deodorant in your cabinet? No, but if you got mirrors at your house, they probably all crack. Crack? Well, you can kiss the crack of my Oh, chin. malt liquor in that refrigerator. Malt liquor? No, ma'am. We don't, we don't drink. Well, where well, you need to. Spice things up a bit. If you know what I mean. Yeah, funny. Um, can't help you with anything else? Some grapes, muffin. Uh, how about a tour of your room? A tour? I heard it's quite nice. Right. Uh, take me upstairs. Oh, um, uh, I, I, card game. I can I, make the stairs. My knees is good. My leg is bad. You, um, you, I think you, it's a card game. You need, you was playing card. I'm you, into this game right here, baby. I, Beatrice, um, come back out here and leave that boy alone. I got my good eye on you, honey. Yeah. Good together. This is the last one. Oh, this is a symbol.
Simone, I like to see. Well, you know when Pastor says, let go and let God, it works. <laughs> Those were some crazy couple of years after what's his name? It's okay, you can say it. Dwayne. Seems like you were long overdue for some good fortune, Simone. Well, you know, Calvin is probably breaking it off with her right now. He said when he's done, he's gonna come over here and take me out. Well, I hope he's wearing a bulletproof vest and a catcher's mask, cause Angela ain't one of those take it in stride kind of girls. I know, poor Calvin. <laughs> I'm gonna take this to the nursing home. Wait, I, I want you to meet him. Oh, oh, they're not admitting me, I'm just dropping it off. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. Hey, listen, I asked you down because we've been so impressed with the impact that you've had on this church community, especially with the seniors. Well, you know, thank you, sir. It's, it's been a blessing to me, but I got to be somewhere, so. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. This makes, I'm going to make this real quick and easy. Okay. I got a big favor to ask. Sure, anything. How would you like to oversee this year's volunteer appreciation luncheon? Oversee? Okay, you mean like run it? Exactly. Pastor, I don't know anything about putting on a spread like that. Listen, it's real simple. I have a team that does it year in and year out. Just follow their model. Of course, add your twist to it as you see fit. As a personal favor, please. You know, I'd be honored. But with all due respect. Son, I would not even ask if I didn't have faith in you. Great. That's it. But hey, you'll be working with Sister Louise on this one. Okay. Ain't God good? <laughs> okay. Okay. Gotta get back to my rest, Cinderella never looked this good. Okay. Simone, Simone, Simone. Girl, I am so happy to see you. What are you doing here? Let's just say I'm in the neighborhood. Okay? Yeah, and you be playing me for a fool again. No, that's why I'm here. Listen, I'm here to apologize, Simone. I'm a changed man. Oh, yeah, I see. Looks like you changed from FUBU to Sean John. <laughs> I do look good, don't I? <laughs> I knew it. No, seriously. Simone, Simone, Simone. I'm serious. I received the Lord as my personal savior six months ago. Yes. And, and I'm just trying to live a better life so I can make up for the pain that I caused you and all those that I hurt. Right. Oh, what do you give a woman that works in a flower shop? You do like chocolate covered cherries, don't you? No. Look, look, Simone, I know you're busy. I, look, I just want to take you out to eat. Let's let's go get a let's get some coffee. Let's. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm seeing someone. Ooh. Lucky me. Look, I'm not here to start no trouble, Simone. I know we've been through a lot. Whatever we've been through, all I know is me and you, we always been friends. So, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't forgive myself if I didn't come to try to fix that, Simone. Oh, Mr. Repentant Man himself. Well, you know what? Actions speak a lot louder than words. So, you're going to have to do better than that. Please. Pretty please. You look ridiculous right now. Let this man take you out to dinner. Well, help a brother out. Can I get a yes? Can I get a maybe? Can I get a woo woo? <laughs> okay, okay, maybe. As a friend. Oh, uh, cool, baby. Okay, now that's can you get up before my customers come that's in? That's what I'm talking about, man. Ah! Sorry to interrupt. Calvin! You know what, Simone? I really thought we had something special. Me. But now I see it's for somebody else. Calvin, wait! Explain. explain what, Simone? Okay, look, it's, it's not what you think. I think I just saw you kissing another man. No, look, he's, he's my ex, okay? He, he, he came, he tripped, and I fell on him, and he kissed me. Yeah, you tripped right into his mouth. I don't know this, man. Kevin, I'm sorry. No, you have to go. Just go. Hey, beautiful. Smith Aviation. Yeah, what?
I'm going out alone. Calvin. Hey, what's, what's going on? What's up? Uh, hey, you all right? Everything good? You here to do it, aren't you? Do what? I think you're making a big mistake. <laughs> uh, you know, I need to talk to you. Can we talk outside? Just me and you, like, by ourselves? Just me and you, just, yeah. I wanted to see you today, but I can't because... Calvin, whatever it is, give me another chance, okay? I can make you happy, I swear. Angela, Angela, let's talk. Let's Sorry, I get a little anxious sometimes. Yeah, think? Okay, now what I was trying to say before you interrupted me, I think you're real special. Okay. Calvin, what are you trying to say? Okay, look, there was this other girl, okay? But she's not what I thought she was. What? You're settling? I'm your second choice? No, child, listen. You know my sense of direction. I mean, sometimes it takes me a while to find my way, but I get there. All right? Well, <laughs> since you said it like that. All right, I'm here. Okay. We go together. I heard that. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah. You're down. I get it. But it ain't over. Just a misunderstanding. He saw me kissing another man, Monique. That's not a misunderstanding. That's a global conflict. Come clean. Tell him about you and Angela and the stupid bet. You'll feel better and he'll understand. And then he'll think that I'm a liar and a cheat. <sighs> Besides, you know what? If, if Angela has a chance of being happy, I'm not going to ruin it for her. Remember your scriptures. A righteous man falls seven times and rises again. Same goes for you. Don't give up. Monique's exquisite flowers may help you. Oh, hi, Duane. Oh, no, no, no. She's not here right now, but uh, I'll tell her you call. I'll give him that. And easy on the eyes. I'll give him that too. Or give me a break. Up. I gotta get back to her. And you owe me some money for the coffee that I spilled over there. Yeah, whatever. I, I'm just hoping you can help me figure something out. What? Remember you called me out the blue, I might add? And you swore up and down that Simone was trying to hook up. I just had a feeling she wasn't over you. Yeah, well, she seemed like she was doing fine to me. She got a boyfriend. Simone does not have a boyfriend. Well, who is that Calvin guy? Ran off like a little punk when I kissed Simone. Kiss Simone? What? what? Yeah, I kissed Simone and she ran up after him. Calvin, Calvin, I'm sorry. Well, Simone and Calvin are not together. Me and Calvin are together, for your information. Since when? Since none of your business. So get, go. Look, all I know is thanks to you, I broke the girl's heart again. 
I don't know what you into. I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it's cold. And I hope it's worth it. Mind yours. He's everywhere. Everywhere. Let me say that again. He's everywhere. Everywhere. I don't know about you. Come on, preacher. But I know he was there last night. He was there. When you lied to your girlfriend. Check on something real quick. You mind taking my uncle to the car? Yeah, no problem. Baby. You take your time, that cow. That'll give me the answer to get acquainted time. All right. Don't you understand I'm trying to make it right by you? No, what I understand is you ruined my chances with a good man. Just leave. Crazy. Hey, look, man. Me and Simone, it was nothing. It was an accident. She don't even like me. She like you. I don't know why. Just take her. Apricot and your grape, but you gotta be careful when you can eat the grape because it'll bounce right off the toast and then you'll wind up chasing it away across the floor. Okay, I'll be and right back. What you doing shoving me in here? I ain't Get no it. hot rolls. Okay. I'll brawl it in. You alright? Not really. Look, Calvin, I want to apologize to you, okay? I don't mention it, you know, I moved on. Listen, that was Dwayne, my ex boyfriend. I hadn't seen him in two years. Oh, I get it. You know, you guys missed each other. He tripped over something and fell into his face. No, look, I was just telling him about me and you, and, and he was leaving when you walked in. Me and, and you. Me, yeah. me and Angela. Will you stop? Just, just listen, listen to me. Let me ask you something. Okay. And you can say no if you want to. I was wondering if you and Monique would, you know, help me out by donating some flowers to the church for this lunch that I'm throwing. What? Yeah. Baby? Hmm. Is everything okay? Yeah, I was I was on my way to the car. Come on. Hey, where's my uncle? In the car. You know, you used to be just like that. Run, run, run. Never get tired. Heck, I get winded just walking to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was that easy. What's the problem, Cal? See, Angela, she makes me laugh and appreciate the moment. Mm-hmm. And then there's Simone. And Simone makes me want to strive to become a better man. There's a complication with that one. It's her mom. And it makes me question everything. Hmm. Was Gal a criminal? <laughs> no. She married already? Not that I know of. Well, she getting ready to run off to Greenland and study the volcanoes? What? No. <laughs> I think she still might be hung up on her old boyfriend. she tell you that. No, she won't tell me that. But I saw him, I saw him kiss her. And before this one little complication, you trusted her, huh? I did. I do. Mm-hmm. You don't understand. You ever watch Dateline? What? Dateline. You know, them trial shows. You know, 
Eyewitness testimony is always the worst. The brain messes with what you think you see. So you're telling me I ain't see him kissing? No. Could have been a trick of the eye. Could have been mirrors. Could have been something that she didn't want to happen. Are you telling me not to trust what I saw? Okay, the only thing I'm trying to tell you is to trust in your heart, son. Trust your gut. And above all, trust in God's will for you. Can't go wrong with the Lord, son. Yeah. You're right, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Believe what I tell you. really do, but how do you see this playing out? We're gonna continue like we have been. God willing, we settle down, have some babies. Okay, and then how do you explain to him that I'm your best friend? We placed a bet on who could win him. All right, things work out with you and him, and later he finds out that all you built was a lie. Simone, I can't help but think that if he chose you, you wouldn't be acting like this. Angela, listen, I'm gonna give you an option. Either you tell Calvin or I will. Why don't you just take Dwayne? What? You heard me. Dwayne still likes you. Why are you saying that? Well, Dwayne called me two weeks ago. He's back in town. He found Christ. He wants to make it right with you. And you sent him to the shop, didn't you? You did. Angela, why did you do that when you know that I was finally moving on? I didn't know Calvin was going to be there. You got to believe me about that And part. why should I? Simone, I'm not the one that kissed Dwayne. He kissed me. He kissed you, you kissed him, whatever. Okay, okay, Angel, but look at us. Okay, are we gonna let a man come between our friendship? You've already chose, haven't you? You have. Well, I see how easy it is for you. All right, have a nice life. Hey there, beautiful. Oh, you're not Angela. No, duh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well look, uh, was this receptionist around? Because this needs a signature. Look, I got no clue, buddy. Okay, uh, all right. Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? Front desk is out front. Yeah, um, Angela's not there. I just need a signature. Thanks. Hey, don't I know you? No, never met you. <laughs> yeah, you're the guy from the restaurant. The, the choking guy. Oh, right. I'm fine. No big deal. Yeah, great. Yeah, it, it looked really bad the other night. Are you choking up peanuts? I mean, kicking, screaming. Good thing Angela was there to sit. It wasn't your precious Angela. It was three years of community theater. Vocal lessons, a private acting coach. What? Act? You was faking? Hey, why don't you tell me what happened? I can't. Angela, she'll kill me. I thought it was a date. So much time in front of the mirror. I cannot believe this. I thought it was a date, too. It wasn't real. Man, you know I sent you flowers. Roses, my favorite. Thanks, man. Look, what, what's going on? Tell me what's going on. Angela wanted to outrighteous Simone. Outrighteous? To win the bet. Win the bet? What bet? You should sit down for this. Oh, my goodness. Coming to you just saying thank you, thanking you for, for all that you are and, and everything that you do to provide. 
Lord, I'm coming to you, especially right now, dealing with the situation with Calvin and, and with my best friend, Angela. You know the situation, Lord, and I pray for, for guidance and strength and wisdom to deal with the situation the best way so that I may remain a righteous person. And uh, if it's meant for us to be together or if it's meant for he and Angela to be together, I'll be satisfied with that if it's in your will, Lord. It's these things and all others I ask in your name. Amen. Lord, I know I haven't been coming to church as much as I should. And I know I'm getting a little crazy when it comes to dating men. But if you could just send a little sign about Calvin. I mean, me and Simone both like him. But he's coming in between our friendship. And I don't want to lose that. But if she keeps pushing it, you know I cannot back down. And Oops. Sorry. If you could just send a sign. Thank you. Amen. these in kind donations you bet what kind doing all this work for him but it's not for him it's for the volunteers doing god's work yeah let's see if we can get some kind donations like manicures massages come on here just load the car oh so you're telling me what to do now well isn't that Excellent work. He was the right man for the job. Well, thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like everybody's having a great time. Yeah, there is one problem, though. Seems like you'll be managing this event for many years to come. <laughs> Anything to help out, Pastor. Praise God. No problem. Hey, how y'all doing? Sure. Excuse me. Listen, I want to thank both of you guys for your help. I couldn't have done this luncheon without you two. Well, you're welcome, Calvin. Well, you know, the seniors and the volunteers, they deserved it. You did a really good job, Calvin. Well, I appreciate that. So I think it's time that we address the obvious. Listen, it's truly been a blessing to know both of you, okay? Frankly, I'm honored and I'm fortunate beyond my belief that two amazing women such as yourselves would even be interested in me. Calvin, just spit it out. Look, I'm sorry if I made you guys feel uncomfortable for making action you to work together. You know, it's not every day that the two women that you're dating just so happen to know each other. It's not like you guys are best friends or anything. Right. Oh, no. That would be awkward. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, I've never gone wrong asking God for guidance. You know, a sign to show me that I found the right woman. You know, one who understands what it means to perform righteous acts. Oh my God. Um, listen, that's Miss Louise in the kitchen. I gotta go help her. Uh, we'll talk later. Okay. okay. So what's all that about? It was about that if we still want Calvin, then the game is still on. There's no game. There's no competition. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, we'll just see about that, won't we? I guess we will. May the best lady win. That's when we reach out. You need to concentrate on your chores, not the two of them. Leave them alone. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Hey, ladies. How you doing? Hey, hey, how are so you? So what would a party be without nail bling? Mm -hmm. Oh, see that bronze? Now that looks interesting. Let me get some of that. Well, Miss Henry, I was wondering maybe you look even lovelier if you let me put a couple flowers in your hair. I think maybe your yeah, husband might like it. Yes, thank you. Oh, you're so lovely, honey. Thank you. Okay, I see. Very festive, ladies. Very festive, Angela. 
what color, Calvin? What color? Mr. Walsh, we're gonna keep that between me and you, all right? What do you look like a cool girl. Oh, I do, honey. Oh, thank you, baby. Put another one. Okay, okay. I hope I'm not pinching you because oh, I don't want to no, hurt you. Oh, no, this is mine. I want to feel good. Ugh. Girl, these fumes, I, I'm good. The fumes are way too much. Okay. Girl, it's thank just you a second. So Let me finish. Thank you. No, it's okay. too much. Just I, give me a second. I can't. No. I said, give no, me a I second. Said, no, it's okay. I want to finish. I said, no. Oh, oh, oh. You, are you crazy? Lost your mind. Get my dress. Sorry. What's that going to be for Nyera? What is that going to be for Nyera? She's crazy too. Yes, yeah, she is. Jeremy Washington and Eddie Coombs. Mm, that was some fine boys, though. Angela. But they was fine. Just the same, you're in the house of the Lord, spilling nail polish and pulling off old ladies' wigs. But I didn't know that was gonna happen. I'm gonna go out here and see if I can calm everybody down. Meanwhile, the two of you make peace. Got it? Got it. This is all your fault. My fault? None of this would have ever happened if you had just listened to me. Listen to you? Are you crazy? No, you're the nutcase. I'm over you, and I'm over this. No, you. Yes, I did. did. Oh, you girl, I swear to God. Yes, let, let it go. Let it go. I'll give it. Give it. Give it. Let, let it go. go. Dessert is officially canceled. Listen, um, I'm very sorry for what has happened here today. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to fix the situation. Oh, and I will be getting in contact with Mrs. Henry to express my apologies for her wig incident. So, you know, everybody, I just want to tell you I'm very sorry. Excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I just want everyone to know that it was all me, okay? I take full responsibility for Mrs. Henry's hair and Miss Louise being covered head to toe in pie. Calvin is not to blame. Okay, and, and also, I work at a flower shop in town and I'll be sending Miss Henry and Miss Louise flowers every month for the next year. Now, I know it's not much, but it's the least I can do to show how sorry I am for everyone seeing Miss Henry's bald head. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just want everyone to know how sorry I am. Oh. For free flowers, you can take my wig off anytime. Hi, hi there. I just wanted to uh, personally apologize to Kimberly for the nail polish mishap. My bad, I'm sorry. Um, I'll be sending your dress to the cleaners and I'll be taking you shopping to purchase you a new one. My treat. Now, honey, I'm warning you, I have caviar taste. I think I can handle it. Well, since so many people are in need of clothing, I'll be uh, heading up the church clothing drive, so uh, don't forget to donate. Well, praise God. That's, That's one. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. Now, how are you going to top that one? Well, I want to commend Angela on a generous offer and congratulate you, Calvin, on finding such a wonderful woman as Angela. Um, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. I know I should have did this a long time ago, but um, I just want to say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what, Simone? For lying. Okay. Look, all these acts of righteousness, 
They were just done to impress you. So you didn't mean it or what? No. I mean, yes, of course I did. It's just that acts of righteousness should be done selflessly, you know, to help someone or help someone in the community, not to gain the interest of a man. <laughs> you know, I don't know whether to be flattered or disappointed. Well, let me make it easier for you. You know, Angela is a, she's a wonderful girl. You know, she's, she's smart, she's kind-hearted, and she's beautiful. You'd be a fool to let her walk away from you. So, um, I wish you guys a happy life together. I do. I know, um, I wanted to say I'm sorry. For what? For allowing somebody that I truly care about to spill her heartfelt emotions in front of a room full of strangers. Oh, okay, that. And for not telling you I knew everything about you and Angela, the bet, everything. Since when? Since I met Angela's co-worker, Ryan. Horrible actor. <laughs> yeah, he's no Tom Cruise or anything. Well, Angela's a lucky lady. Yeah, she's terrific. But I'd much rather be with you. Are you playing with me? Or are you being serious? Like, Because I really... No, listen, Simone. God brought us together for a reason. Okay? Now, we might have spent the beginning part of our relationship making many mistakes and you two trying to outrighteous each other. But I made a decision. I want to be with you. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys make a great couple. But do you really think so? I really do. Thank you. Oh, I miss you. I miss you too. Oh, sorry. I think I took it just a little bit too far. We both did. We did. Okay. Never? Ever. <laughs> so, I'm not being nobody.
can get rid of that Mary. Uh-huh. Well, maybe if you got a man, you get a little bit of your own. Like that. Okay. <laughs> hey, ladies. Hey, girl. Hey. hey. What's you so long? Oh, my last delivery took about four wrong turns. Okay, you know this one gets lost in the grocery store. Maybe you should put a tracking device on. I know, a GPS system or something. You know what? Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Is he serious? Yes. Uh, like a heart attack. Listen, listen. So, that table over there, last one to that table, buys dinner. How about that? Okay, but I don't know how he can handle that with all his deliveries. Yeah, you know what? Y'all slower than a bag of potatoes. Really? Yes. Go! <laughs> what? Hold on, wait.
You mean to me? Mm -hmm.